Well, the Ducks are ready to go dancing in Pittsburgh. The Oregon men's team will take on South Carolina in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Our sports team is traveling there now, but sports director Cameron Derby is here to tell us more. This coverage sponsored by Kendall Subaru. Yeah, the Ducks are already in Pittsburgh. They landed there today. Our sports reporter Nick Orsini is not experiencing the same luck. He's stuck in the airport right now going through some delays, but we'll hear from him in just a moment. Because Nick is experiencing said bad luck traveling, you're stuck with my goofy voice to talk some more Ducks in the NCAA tournament. A tough part for the Ducks is dropping the celebration of suddenly winning the Pac-12 tournament championship. A heartwarming moment for Duck leaders like Jermaine Cousinard with now another challenging goal in front of him. Coach said it was a 24-hour celebration for us, so it was just, just get it out the way, just enjoy it, you know, like we got more to do, more we want to keep playing. I was just telling coaches, I know it's, it's, it's kind of hard, like some teams like Arizona was trying to put bigger players on me to like, so to deny me the ball, so like for hard, make it hard for me catching, like getting catch, so I was just like, just me playing with the ball in my hands is easier, so it don't matter what size player, I wish if it's a bigger guy, it's easier for me to get past him, so. Don't worry, Nick's travel delays will not stop us from covering the Ducks tonight at 5 and 6. Make sure you join us for more tonight. Nick and I's coverage this week sponsored by Kendall Subaru, but Nick did film a little bit for us at the airport, so here's a short little bit from him. The Oregon Ducks have officially touched down in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, ahead of their first round NCAA matchup with the South Carolina Gamecocks. Unfortunately, I was supposed to beat them there, but due to some flight delays, I'm a little behind schedule, so I won't be able to provide any live coverage for Duck fans on this Tuesday. But the good news is, assuming everything goes well, I should get into Pittsburgh later tonight, and then I will be able to attend the open gym before the Ducks take on the Gamecocks. We'll get the opportunity to talk to some select student athletes as well as head coach Dana Altman. So if all goes well, Duck fans, I'll be able to provide you some live coverage starting on Wednesday.